Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is about the Radio Master TX16S which I've just received. I'm going to be doing a series of videos on it to show you how to set it up and how to set up models etc. But I just wanted to go through it and of course now I can compare it to the T16. Now I like the ergonomics, they've got these grips at the back, as you can see those there, um, which are actually quite nice and it does sit in the hand very very nicely as you all know I do I love the jumper t16 but this feels good that can stop your fingers from slipping it has a different setup in terms of the switches it has two page buttons which are, it's got an arrow left and an arrow right so it will operate slightly differently than the jumper t16 uh, but we will go through that as I start to program it um, it's got one nice feature is that it has two USB-C ports, one at the top, which is for data. So that's how you would plug it into your companion to update it. And one at the bottom, which is for charging. And I've actually charged this up and that's quite nice that you don't have to take the batteries out. You can just plug it in and uh, let it charge. The gimbals and everything feel very much the same as the Jumper T16. And all the switch layouts are the same. They're exactly the same. The indents on the sliders, I don't use these sliders at the side, I haven't used them, uh, but they do feel, you can feel the centre, but not brilliantly, but I never use those anyway. It's got a touch screen, but we won't be able to use that yet until it's supported by an OpenTX release, uh, which is not out yet. What's a nice touch with the RadioMaster TX16S is it comes in this box, and you can store the radio in there, and it's quite a firm... It's like, I'm not quite sure what material is, but it's very nice and you can put your radio and store it in this. And what's nice is, of course, that limits the packaging that uh, your radio comes in because the packaging is the box you store it in. Another thing is the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel on this uh, TX16S is excellent. I don't know if you can hear this. There's a positive click there and it just feels very good. And when you use it, when you turn the radio on and using it, it is very good. I'm impressed because the scroll wheel on my Jumper T16 is actually wearing out a bit. And sometimes when I try and change model, I have to tap the button a couple of times to get it to do it. And I was actually thinking of buying a, a new scroll wheel for it so that I could repair that. It came with a 256 megabyte SD card. Now I'm going to change that. I've got a Transcend uh, 2 gigabyte one which I will put in there because I like to keep the, the different firmwares on the SD card all the time. So I'm going to swap that out and, and um, use a different SD card, a bigger one. Other than that, my first review of it, uh, my first overview of it is it's, it's nice. It feels good. It feels good in the hand. Um, I have done a conversion video where I had to convert mine because I purchased mine uh, from the Flying Robot Company in South Africa, but they only supplied the, um, Mode 2, so I had to convert it to Mode 1. So my next video that will come out will show you the conversion. Um, I want to go through the setup. I'll do a video of setting it up, updating, because I know uh, OpenTX is not updated in here, and nor is the multi-protocol module. So I'm going to bring those up to date, and we'll have a video for that. So that's really it for now. That's everything I can think of about the radio, but it's got a nice feel to it. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, so, so far, it's, it's looking good. And it does have a bigger battery bay at the back. I purchased the Radio Master Pact in, to put in there. So I bought that so that I haven't got to use any other batteries. I can use ones that they, they, you can buy from them which again is available at the Flying Robot Company in, in, um, in Cape Town. And I can't get my... There we go, sorry. Sorry, got that back on. Okay, so that's it. So please look out for the videos where I help you set this up. And if you have any suggestions of videos or things you'd like to know how to do on your uh, TX16S, because you may not be so... Um, clued up on OpenTX, then please let me know. I'm sure it's going to be very similar to the Jumper T16, but I know a lot of people, when you get a radio, you want to see the things done on your radio, not on another one. So this is why I'm going to reproduce a lot of the videos that I did on the Jumper T16 and do it on the TX16S. 
Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye.